So guys, finally I get this new res machine, which is this Elegoo Saturn IV Ultra. And I was thinking to make this little video and of course my impression about this machine. So first about the 3D printers. The 3D printers these days are a really important tool for almost everyone which want to create. So, the 3D printers are really nice for some prototyping and other stuff. So, for me, for example, like I said before, the 3D printer is really important tool in my lab because with 3D printers I'm able to make all sorts of prototyping. I can make myself battery housings in all different shapes. I can also make some rapid upgrade on the housings if I don't like my previous housing design. And yeah, this is actually the real beauty of having some 3D printer because you can make some rapid prototyping in-house just by yourself. And now about this Saturn IV Ultra. So this will be some short review and also my thinking about this uh, 3D printer. Uh, but please make note that this will not be some professional or a little bit more detailed review. Uh, because if you want to have a little bit more professional review about this machine, then of course go to some YouTube channel which do some professional reviews. And now let's explore this Elego Saturn IV Ultra. Uh, so first of all on this resin printer I really like the lid. Because this lid is this fully pink top lid. Really nice. Because I will put this resin printer on some area where I will have a little bit limited space. And for me, it's really important that this uh, resin printer have this flipping top lid. So, it's a little bit annoying that uh, the lid don't have any handle, but this is not such a big problem because I can print some handles by myself uh, and I can put on the lid if I want. The next really interesting part on this printer will be, of course, the building plate. So here is the building plate and the building plate can release from uh, the printer like so. Very nice. And the building plate is also a self-leveling plate, which means that this building plate is on some springs and when the building plate will hit uh, the screen uh, the building plate will self-level but the, the building plate will not stay in this self-leveling position uh, because when the building plate will go up again uh, the building plate will go into its original form but every time when the building plate will uh, hit the screen, the building plate will self-level. The next interesting gadget on this 3D printer will be of course this camera which is inside of this resin printer. And with this camera you can make some time lapses or you can monitor the printing progress. Then here is this big watt, here you can put uh, the resin. So this what is really big nice and here we have this 12k mono lcd screen uh, which this screen have this tilt release mechanism which means that this screen will go up and down like so So because of this uh, tilt release mechanism, uh, the printing speed is a lot faster. Here I have some extra screws, some gloves. Some adapter. Oh, and here I have this Wi-Fi antenna. So 
so here on the right side of the resin printer we have this uh, connection for this Wi-Fi antenna then we have some connection for uh, the USB stick uh, on and off switch and some connection for uh, the adapter so I really like that here on the top is showing me the temperature uh, then what we have here I will find uh, the printing files uh, then we have some tools oh resin calibration settings printing mode low speed high speed okay so first i will connect the resin printer with my wi-fi and now after our software updates the printer is ready for printing and the resin which i will use will be of course the resin from Serrata Tech and right now I will use this Sculpt resin and here is my Cheeto Box Slicer version 2.2 and over here I have the building plate of the Saturn for Ultra. And yeah, for the first print I will print some battery housing. And for this reason I will need two end plates like this two and one rectal plate. So So the rector plate will be in this position. Okay, this will be great. So like I said, now I have two end plates like this and this and one rector plate. So this one right now I will print Winode supports, uh, but if I want to add some supports over here in this section or here then I will go here and add auto support but like I said this one I will print Winode uh, supports okay everything is fine now I will slice and now i will set the exposure time to 3.1 seconds and the bottom exposure time will be i don't know 20 seconds to 22 seconds something like this because i already use the Soraya Tech resin uh, with this exposure time settings on my other resin printers and the prints come out really really great on these settings uh, and now I have the time the printing time is 2 hours and 37 minutes which is really really awesome because if I print the same model on Saturn S then I will have the printing time of 4 hours and 18 minutes and now I will send this file to my printer with this network sending. So here is my printer. And send. And now I will start with the printing. And now I will access the camera 
Uh, for this reason, I need to go over here, which is this G2 manager. And here I have this video surveillance. So here you can see the progress of the print. Uh, so at this moment I'm on 0.40% uh, and yeah, really nice. So with also surveillance. Uh, about the camera is a little bit sad that the only access to the camera you have only with this G2 manager. And here I have my washet and also cute uh, battery housing, which is actually made from two end plates and one rectal plate. And if I look into this uh, plate, for example, then I can say that the printer makes some really awesome job. Really nice. And the thickness of the end plates is 5.8 uh, millimeters. And let's see what I will get with these plates. Hmm. And I get 5.82 millimeters. Real nice. Also this one have the thickness of 5.8 millimeters. Real nice. And the rector plate have the thickness of 5 millimeters. Okay, not bad. Not bad. And for the last I will also try to print this model. So this is some Dread King. And this is the model which I print with the Saturn IV Ultra. Very nice. And to just for the finish, my thinking about this machine. So overall, I really like this printer. And what I really like on this printer is of course this flipping top lid. So this one is really handy. Then the next, I really like that this printer 
can print really really fast with this tilt mechanism. So this Saturn IV Ultra prints way 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 faster like my old uh, Saturn S. I mean I really like of having some resin printer which can print really really fast. So this model was printed on this fast setting and yeah this one came out really really nice. Then the next what I really like on this printer is of course this Wi-Fi connection because I can make some work with my computer downstairs and I can just upload some files to the printer and the printer will start to print. So really really nice. Then the next one will be the camera. I mean the camera is not really important but if the camera already comes with the printer it's nice to have it. I mean, the camera don't provide the videos in some high definition and it's also a little bit sad that I cannot monitor the progress of the printing with my phone because you can only use this camera with the Cheeto manager and yeah, this is a little bit of annoying but like I said before, it's not so important and these are all the cool features of this printer so, really nice but I also have one thing that I don't like and this is this self-leveling building plate. I mean the concept of having this plate which is on springs is really nice but I am this guy which prefer uh, to having this fixed building plates like this one. So this is the building plate from Mars 2 Pro and it's actually fixed and I never have any problems with this fixed plate because I level this plate only one time and that's it. So I make many many prints uh, and I level this plate only one time. And yeah, actually I don't have any problems with this quick set building plate. So guys, that's it about this printer and yeah, we see us in the next video. Bye.